Hi everyone, welcome back to the channel. Another week of groceries again. I just feel like I said last week, the weeks just go so quick and I'm back here again doing another grocery haul. So this is what I've picked up our family of four this week through Woolworths Australia. So I'll start over here with the bread. I've got the usual uh, four loaves of soft toast. No substitutions on the bread this week. And the bread is 270 a loaf. This is the, the usual one I get now because some of the others I have tasted are like stale and that, and I'm just still really, really happy with this one. I've got our normal two cases of eggs, but I feel like these aren't gonna last long. I guess it's because our whole family eat eggs, so everyone really likes them. But these are $5.60 a carton, and usually we have like um, lots of boiled eggs through the week. I got these this week, this week to try. Sometimes we just make our own on the weekends, but this time I thought, why not just try these ones? These are the king of chunky chocolate chip cookies. I know the kids will enjoy them. And they are $3.40 a box. I don't think they're going to last very long in our house, especially over the weekend. Because they're large and chunky, there probably isn't many in the box. And I've also got some canned spaghetti. This is the only canned spaghetti we like in our house. It's SPC. Um, uh, these were $2.50 a can. I just can't believe how expensive they are. I really need to stock up when they go on special. And I've also got the kids just some um, creamy rice. They actually really love this, which is amazing because they don't like everything. But these are $1.75 each. Um, so I just got two cans there for dessert. And sometimes they can probably take some to school in a container. I've also got some mixed nuts because we haven't had them in a while and they're actually not a bad mixture. They're salty ones and they have a lot of macadamias and pistachios in them. They're $5.35 a bag and we're out of crackers completely so I just got some Ritz crackers for $3 a box. I have also went and bought a heap of chips because they're on special because my oldest boy goes to the canteen and gets these sweet and chilli sour cream ones for such a ridiculous price. So this week they're on special. Sam boys were $2.50 a packet. And the chili ones were three dollars, and he's paying like that for a tiny little bag at the canteen. So I got them, and I will be putting them away. And I got a box of sultanas just to give the kids as a snack occasionally. They were three dollars sixty a box on special from four dollars fifty. I got some bananas, the green and the yellow. They were seventy two cents each, and I got some mandarines. Five of them were two dollars eighty five. I just want to go to the fruit shop this week and have a look around. So I didn't get a lot of fruit and veggies from Woolworths at all this week. That was basically it. I got a large spiral San Remo brand. They were two dollars ninety five. I do like this brand. It does seem to cook quite well, not, and it doesn't seem to take as long to cook. I find some of the cheaper brands take forever to cook. I also got some medium salsa just for crackers and things. This is still $1.50. I'm pretty sure that's the same price I always used to pay. I might be wrong. And I've also got the usual tomato paste that I normally get. That's $1.85. It lasts me for ages. I just use a little bit now and then. I just find that it's the best way to do it. So it, it stays sort of fresh. I've also got some more sandwich bags. We've still got heaps left, but I just got another packet just to sort of stock up there. And for 120 sandwich bags is $3.65. And the Green Seas tuna was on special for $1.30 a can. So I got sweet chili and the rest is just the lemon and pepper, which I don't mind the lemon and pepper. I usually just like the plain tuna, but my youngest likes lemon and pepper. So I thought I'll just go with that one and I'll eat that one with him. But um, couldn't get the really hot chili one. I just got the sweet chili. I've also got some bird treats because my bird deserves it. And I got my bird some treats. I do get these occasionally. They're $2.30 and they're quite large and he absolutely loves it when I put one of these in his cage. He hangs off it. It gives him something to do in there as well. And they do take ages to get through them. So I just bought two there to sort of stock up as well because he really enjoys it. So I got a packet of cotton tips this week for $2.30 and I also got some paracetamol capsules for $1.25. I've also bought a few things in the shop this week for myself as a bit of a treat because I've needed them. I had a look at these brushes that were on special, the Tony and Guy. They were $12 instead of $20, I'm pretty sure. But this is a paddle brush and I thought, why not buy myself something nice? All my brushes have got like the pins missing and things like that on them now. So I just like the look of buying myself a new brush. And I thought, why not treat myself to a few more things while I'm at it? Because, you know, there's a couple of things I needed as well. And also I need to sort of start stocking up on some makeup as well. So Woolies had a special on the Bonds underwear this week. So I got a two pack for $12. They're usually $24. I was hoping for the black, but that's my fault. I didn't tell the shopper to choose the black. 
Um, I've also got this concealer. I usually get the Maybelline one, um, which is what I ordered, which was a medium in the Maybelline, but they've given me the Emco Beauty one instead in the light. So I'm not sure how that's going to go because light is light on me and I really do need a medium. But I'm interested to try the company anyway and see what it's like because I don't think I've tried Emco Beauty before. And um, yeah, so that's pretty much what I've bought myself this week as a little bit of a treat. So I've run out of shampoo. So I just got the Deep Nourish um, a cocoa butter one. This one looked pretty good. It was 725 grams for $3.80. It usually is $6.40. So I just grabbed it because, um, yeah, it was a pretty good buy. And I am trying cheaper sort of shampoos now as well. I've also got just a sea salt grinder for $3.40 because we don't have any um, rock salt in the house. And I do have a rice machine and I've run out of brown rice. So this week I thought, why not just buy these two microwave ones for $2.20. But I usually make my own and I freeze it all. But this week I just thought, no, I'm just going to get two little containers of it instead. And we've run out of the squeeze lemon juice. So it was $1.65. The bottle's changed, so it looks a bit different. And I've also got the fountain hot chili sauce just to try it this week. It was $2.80 and we've got fans in our house that love chili. So I thought, why not give this one a go? and see if they will like that. I've picked up our usual refill bag of Milo for $9.90. Um, it's been lasting a few weeks, which is pretty good. And I've also got some Devondale. I really like the Devondale Long Life Milk. I just got a two separate liters and they were $2.20 each. I know I can get the home brand one, but the Devondale is really nice. And I don't often get it, but I just thought I'd put it in the pantry because we've got none at the moment. Um, I've also got a bag of these Strong Peppermints. I really like these ones. They're nice. I always have a little container in my handbag of them. They're $2.50 a bag. I've been buying these for quite a long time now. And just our usual a six pack of chocolate milk for $5.00. I got the Tetley decaf tea bags. They were $6.90. I also needed garbage bags again. We do feel like we go through these quite a bit. Um, uh, they were $3 for the la extra large garbage bags. And I also got some paper bowls just to put in the cupboard for $3.15 because we sort of got no paper bowls or anything like that in the house. So I've got two packets of greens cake mix. I've got the brownie triple um, chocolate fudge and I've also got the pink cupcakes for $3 each a box. And we will make these over the weekend for the coming weeks for school lunch boxes. I've also got these Cocoa Pops Chex breakfast cereal. They were $4.50 a box this week and the same with the Nutri-Grain. So they had a special on them and I thought I'll just get two boxes of cereal because we're sort of out. And I also got some spring water bottles, 24 pack for $9.50 just to have in the pantry. And we use these occasionally if we go away or we go out for the day or something like that. All my kids forget their drink bottles and leave all of them at school. And occasionally it's good to have these if that happens. So we've already opened the daily juice and the full cream milk. So the daily juice breakfast burst was $7.50 for three litres. And the milk, I usually get 15 litres of milk, which I did. And the rest is outside in the garage fridge. But three litres of milk, if you're interested, is $4.50. And I get a mixture of light and full cream. Okay, so I've got some olive oil spread. I really need to get to Aldi and get butter, but I haven't. So the, uh, the olive oil spread was $3.80. I also bought some block butter to make the cake mixes over the weekend with. That was $3.70. Butter and cream and things like that have gone up so much, haven't they? And I've also picked up some of the cheese slices at the back there, the Hillview for $4.75 because we're completely out of slices. I've got block cheese, but slices are always great for toasties and for just making cheese sandwiches. Um, I've got some of the leg ham and salami this week. So I've got the big packs. That was $6.30 each. And you do get four separate portions in there, which I do like because you can just cut it off and keep them in the fridge you know, and it's really good. So the Hungarian salami is for my youngest boy and we can make pizzas with it and everyone just likes the leg ham as well. So it's a good combination of meat. Um, I've also got some lean beef here, mince just for $15.50. Um, this is the usual one I do get. This is the one kilo and probably just for spaghetti bolognese and things like that for the week as well. And I've also got some chicken sandwich schnitzels. These are great for the weekend and we have like burgers with them. These are $1.40 each and we just got four of them. So just a really good thing over the weekend with some lettuce and mustard and mayonnaise and things like that. And I also got a whole chicken for 
70 just to cook during the week next week or we might even have a Sunday roast with like sweet potatoes and potatoes and things like that and what I can pick up from the fruit shop as well veggie wise so this is my freezer haul I've also got some vegetable cocktail spring rolls I forgot to show you that was six dollars sixty for like sixty but I forgot to put them out. I've also got the chocolate Bavarian, $4.80. This is a really nice dessert and it's pretty cheap as well. You can always put some whipped cream on the side with it or some ice cream, but the kids will actually, our whole family really like it. I've also got some of the little pizzas. Um, these are just like ham and cheese ones, but they were $6 and I just popped them into the air fryer for the kids because it just makes it so much easier and they can have them after school. No one else really eats them, only the kids. I've also got an apple pie, which was $4. And I did buy cream as well, which I think I've forgotten to show you in the haul. I did buy a container of cream for $2.80, just the smaller one. It must have been still in the fridge, sorry about that. But yeah, we're just gonna have like apple pie and um, cream one night as well. And we've also got a Bavarian, which the Bavarian probably won't last um, the weekend which is pretty much what I got it for anyway, because I didn't get ice cream or anything because I've still got ice cream in the fridge. So I thought I'll get some desserts this week instead. So the total of today's shop was $315.29. So I just thought I'd show you what $315 looks like, including the things that you just saw from the fridge and freezer as well. So it just doesn't go far, but I have bought myself a few little extra things as well, which does make the shop, you know, rise a lot especially like the brush and underwear and all that sort of thing but this is what 315 dollars looks like today and thanks everyone for watching today's video and i'll see you soon for my next ones thanks everyone bye